It's a major day in the Elizabeth Holmes trial. Of course, a lot of media outlets watching this one, lawyers on both sides of the case, they are delivering closing arguments already. Sloan is here. It feels like it's taken us so long to get to this point, and yet a lot has happened in a short a amount of time. Happened. Right, and now it is all coming to a head. All eyes have been on Elizabeth Holmes, the mastermind behind the now defunct health technology company Theranos. For seven days on the stand, Holmes pointed blame at others for the failure of Theranos and its blood testing technology. And now it's up to the jury to decide whether or not she's committed fraud. She was the 19-year-old protege who planned to revolutionize the way we test for blood. Once the youngest self-made billionaire, now comes the self-inflicted pain. Any comments, Elizabeth? Any comments? Elizabeth Holmes' company, Theranos, promised that its blood test could detect conditions like cancer and diabetes with just the prick of a finger. The company reportedly raised more than $700 million and was valued in the billions. Holmes hoped the technology would be in every home. She was compared to Steve Jobs, the apple of healthcare, with Theranos testing centers nationwide. Just one problem the technology didn't work at all. And by 2018, the startup had fallen apart. Patients had come forward claiming Theranos inaccurate results led to wrong diagnoses from autoimmune diseases to miscarriages. The rise and fall of homes has gripped the nation. Hulu just releasing the first photos from their new series, The Dropout, where actress Amanda Seyfried will play the real life Stanford dropout. People have also tuned in from podcasts to documentaries like HBO's The Inventor, Out for Blood in Silicon Valley. What do you dream for? That less people have to say goodbye too soon to people they love. Now, Holmes is in the fight of her life, facing up to 20 years in prison. Despite the charges against her, Holmes still has some fans. Women showed up to the courthouse dressed in her uniform of a black blazer, low bun, and red lips. That, that is interesting to me, people showing up. But I, again, you could she's see She's captivating. People, well, she, she's extremely captivating. And it, to think that this is her life, she's such a young woman. And to see all of this playing out, she'll be remembered for this forever, no matter how the case falls. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.